Oh, holy shit. I am the embodiment of tired right now. I say like I'm uh, never not tired. Ever not tired. See? You see what I mean? Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey! Dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. Ah! And that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, Not in the slightest. What? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? No? Let me refresh your memory. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am oh, sorry you feel that, that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. 
What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? For what? You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me, even now, is truly inspiring. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Hell no! Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Uh, okay, so my first playthrough, I didn't let Rachel do this. But no matter what, like, Chloe's eventually going to get expelled anyway. So, like, that was my reasoning then. It's my reasoning now. Complete and total bullshit. Chloe. You're an awesome actor, Rachel. You almost convinced me, and I know you're lying. But come on. Miss Price, Miss Amber, one of you girls better start telling me what actually happened now. It's fine. Really. You're right. The truth is, I didn't convince Chloe to ditch with me. I practically forced her to. <laughs> come on. I was feeling angsty and reckless. Tired of living up to the perfect image everybody expects out of me. I told Chloe if she didn't come with me, I might do something crazy. Like what? Graffiti, steal alcohol, maybe even abuse marijuana. I didn't, thank God. But that's only because Chloe was there. She looked out for me, I'm even crying. after I threatened her. I told her I would blame her for everything if she didn't come along. Oh. I knew it would be easy, given all of the prejudices against her. I'm crying. Uh, now... This is some serious... Chloe, I told her. If you get blamed for this, you will be in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Whereas I, having a perfect record at Blackwell, will not. Think about it, I told her. And don't do anything you'll regret. Anyway, that's what really happened. Oh, Rachel. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. I understand. I'm confused. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. Damn. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy... Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but oh, we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around, 
Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. <sighs> Okay. Again. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Ain't calling her a truther. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook? Line and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. I love him so much. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. This is my swan song. My farewell to Black Hell. I'm only sorry I had but one fuck off to give. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed I from the play. Fucking hate this guy. I fucking hate him. Was that so him. hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, hey, Skip? Fuck them. <clears throat> Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car.
Ah. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Shit, I wasn't expecting such a darkness. God, I wouldn't have looked at that if I didn't know. Oh. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. I mean, to be fair, chemistry is literally the worst. It's a personal opinion, though. You might really like chemistry. That's fine, you know? Everyone's got their thing. I just Trusty like keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. I no, should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Finally, what I actually came here for. Wait. 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 Um, packages. Oh no, the packages. Ah. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Some really bad associations with this bathroom, guys. I mean, bad
Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Max would have loved this ship. Can you leave me alone? I know how to move faster. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Um, where's that bee and why is it here? I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Can you stop floating around me? Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do 
Do you want a hug? Let's not make a big deal out of this. <coughs> oh, sorry. Did I do that wrong? Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Secure tag mustache on me. Uh, Piss head much? That has to be Skip's car. The hell is a crusty rim, man? Three guesses whose bike this is. And they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Gotta face my mom at some point. Might as well be now. Yeah, yeah. I was just seeing how far I could go, already. Not very far. At that thing. It's about damn time. David, please. Eat my ass! Oh, sorry, guys. We now Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Uh huh. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, Instead of fighting me about everything, oh. you might actually learn a thing or two. Oh, he pisses me off so much. What? Oh. Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Oh, fucking shit. Oh. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, Sorry, I can't do it. I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, 
I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Hell no! What Hell the fuck? fucking no! If we Hell are going to start over, no. we have to know fuck that you are no. not abusing drugs. If you're Eat not, lips, you should be eager fuck. for the chance to prove it. No. Mom. No. I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Why the fuck is this stranger given... This is why I get so mad at Joyce. Why the fuck is this stranger giving permission to parent Chloe when he literally doesn't even know... Ooh. 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 Turn on and kick him in the sure. balls. Here you go. Show me a warrant, asshole. You watch too much television. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. No, I admit actually. to you being a fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. I... What happened Refusing to trust to being comply... a two-way street? That was before you were expelled. Addition. Sorry, it's not how it works. Somewhere along the way, we lost you our trust. This is when not the way to get it back. Not at all. Okay. That's it? Right not to be She's basically admitted her guilt. And you're letting her I off the hook? She's a minor. She has no right I am her. not letting her off the hook. That's I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Does it have to? What does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Uh-huh. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand oh. steering this ship. Talk oh. to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Fuck. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. Relatable. I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and... I know that. But this is not the answer. Yes, Joyce. It's the only the answer. answer I have, Chloe. That doesn't make it the right one. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. He's a jackass. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, You'll see what a stable home can be like. Why are you saying that like she's never had a stable home? She had a father, jackass. Oh my god. I want to fucking punch him. Oh, implying that... Oh, punch him right in the fucking face. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Just the way he talks about women and the way he, the words he uses, I just, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my God. Like, I cannot, like, Trivializing her feelings by calling it a tantrum and making it sound as if she has no real feeling. Infantilizing her. Oh my god! I get that Chloe is not like doing How do the best. you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside but, down? Oh, David. Oh, fucking frustrates the fucking fuck out of me. Oh. I'm so fucking pissed. <laughs> Shit. And I've already been through that scene. You didn't think I'd be used to it by now. He pisses me off. 
every single time. Every fucking time. I need some Rachel. She'll probably Black now. Hole's Rachel. done with me. Rachel. Rachel. I can't go home anymore. Rachel. Is this junkyard all I've got left? No, oh, yeah, Rachel. Oh, I'm really sad about Rachel. Oh. This game, I hate this game and I love this game. Bot, a bot, a bot. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Keep doing that. Oh, that too. I keep doing that too. Wait a minute. I guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Oh, it's cause you have feelings for her. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so... awesome. Yeah, school bus is the worst. You're a long way from the beach. Why is it doing that? What? Why is it doing that? Do not do that. Holy shit, do not. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Uh, Hello. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? My name is Amigo Montoya. I killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, the trunk button is right there. I knew that. Listen, I knew that. She's so happy. That's a battery. I'll take it. I don't really know. How far is work, but I know they need battery. Here we go. The pick of the litter. And then she just shoves it in her pants and it's gone. Look, she's not even holding it anymore. Crazy. Where did you put that? You're a magician. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Mm. Uh, uh. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. This mat has seen some things. Mostly feet. I don't know why two whales made me think of the two heads song, but uh, that's that's that song's new title. It's 
two whales. Two whales, I hope to God I love you longer. Oh, there's a mannequin head there. That means the truck is right there. This junkyard is massive. I'll explore more after I take this battery back to the truck. Are you done talking? Would you say that you and this truck have a connection, you know, like a spark? I hate myself, it's okay. If you don't have to hate me, I'll do it for you. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Mm, a nice breeze. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. We're putting the thing on the thing if I can find it again. I found it in my first playthrough. It's kind of a matter of finding it now, though, because I can't remember where it is. I know it's somewhere around. No, not going over there. Um, is it in the shoebox? I think it might be in this shit box. It is! Look at that! Take that shit. Okay. Other stuff. Not even really, just it's like, uh, blah, 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 blah. English. English is a language that I know how to speak occasionally. Can I stop doing that middle line thing? Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. And she stuffs a towel in her pants. Amazing. I hate it when it flips orientation on me like that. Like, it would be so helpful. When you take something, you just stay in the same orientation. Maybe it's just a problem that I have because I get really challenged when it comes to that. But like, for real though, can you just not switch me around when I know where I'm going? Um, where's that welcome mat at? That's a placemat. I used to love opening up oh. the diner with mom before school. Oh, we didn't look better. Um, I guess those days are now officially over. Oh, here it is. Light bulb. You should cover Light that life endangering floor hole quite nice. Light bulb. Uh, say 
I remember when the light bulb is, because I do not miss the light bulb. Uh, somewhere around here in this junkyard. Obviously. But do I know specifically where? Better head back to the truck. Hey, I need a light bulb, ma'am. Why are you telling me to head back to the truck? Uh, light bulb. Light bulb. Uh, fuck if I remember where it is. Shit. Um. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Um. I don't. I really don't remember. Uh. I don't really want to do that yet. I know there's a light bulb around here. Hell is it in this year? No, that's your ad scar, isn't it? Better head back to Can the truck. Can you shut the fuck up? God, you're hinting me. Irritates the hell out of me. I still need a frickin'. that big. These pet towels that I normally see are like literally barely the size of your body. Like barely like the height of your body. It's a long beach towel. That must be nice. Mm. Okay, I could still use a light bulb, but we'll do this real quick. Mm. You can hang here, but oh. I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. Good talk. Okay, now if I could just find the fucking light bulb, we'd be in business. Like, I feel like it was in a car of some sort. I feel like it was in a vehicle. Am I wrong about that? Oh, yeah, find more to wait a minute. What do you mean find more to fix? I already found the light bulb. That doesn't register. Oh god, guys. Help. Help. I think it's shoes. Help. Ow, 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 I'm bad hurts. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ouch. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Why is it telling me to find more to fix? I already... Oh, I, you know, why can't I just be out of here? I don't know why I have to set the speed button when I can be out of here would be great. Now I'm just complaining to the player. No one ever said that I didn't do that. Light bulb. I know it's fucking somewhere. Like, I mean, obviously. Where specifically? I feel like he was sitting on top of something. Like it was in a lamp or something? I'm sure I've seen some lights around here. Um, well, no, not actually on this go around. I haven't. Usually I notice it quicker than this. Uh, I'll likely cut all this out so you don't have to look at me struggle. Uh, I don't remember where it is. I'm having a hard time concentrating. Light bulb. If I was a light bulb, where would I be? Not a light bulb. Not a light bulb. I swear there was a lamp somewhere around here. That... Shit. How the area where I found the battery looked promising. Hmm. Ah, ah, ow. Damn, you sick. 
cigarettes. Is there a box I can step on? Ah. Oh. Good job, Rachel. What? Why can't I? Nearly all great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. Why does she gesture when she's thinking? When she's thinking inside of her brain. Like, there's no... I mean, not to... Judge. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? I don't know, but I don't think I found this the first time. Oh! No, I obviously didn't. I'm getting an achievement unlocked. Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. The speed limit is 30. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. See, that's what I was talking about last episode. Playing on that game of fire being destructive and beautiful and just like a whole contradiction. And it really works in that motif of fire, which I I um I appreciate. I was gonna say I admire, but then I didn't wanna um I didn't really want to rhyme, so I just the word. Uh which just like made me have a hard time think thinking. You see, now it's uh, yeah, it carries over. But yeah. Night the way, Robobulb. Oh, this is what I'm like. Oh, got you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Why do we start need to look in the area of where I found the battery? Why is it? Smut mag. Oh no. These magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? <laughs> okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Chloe. 
I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Okay, it took me a second to understand what she was talking about because it was really a large, a very large euphemism that I'm, I'm deciding not to touch. And up next, a local band called Pisshead is blowing mines and speakers throughout the bay. Here's their new single, Nothing Wrong. Yes! Yes. Why can't a pirate I take flag? this? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> Come on. Like, couldn't we have used this to pop up a shop? I think she could have been the option. I'm upset. Uh, I didn't agree. You're a long way from the country club, guy. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I can't go through this way, so I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. No! And then... Time to truck on back to uh -huh. the truck. Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Um, there it is. I knew that. It's a bat. What does the bat say? That's like really fucking killing me. And I don't know fucking why. Oh. Shit. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Hello? Yeah. Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. I'm pretty. Look at that retro phone. From all of nine years ago. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Looking good, Robo Bulb. You only get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all.
trust them better than you. You have buried childish qualities, friend. Make sense of me, friend. Make sense of me. I have many destructive qualities, friend. Make sense of me, friend. Make sense of me. Shit. I slept all day. Well, what the hell? Dad? Oh, I just looked like directly into that light for me idiot. See, is that a- okay, we're going back to the motif of the raven slash crow. Is that a raven or a crow waving? Wait, wait, I can't look at it. Oh, that's do I even like marshmallows? Do you know the Muffin Man? Well, that's what I wanted to do. I want to watch what watch. That's what I should do after I finish my this. But I gotta be up tomorrow morning, so I don't know what'll happen. I love Mark. Oh my god. Uh, it's a broad raven. Crow, crow, raven. Crow. Craven. Wait, is Amazing, that cereal? isn't it? I can't look away. See, here's the fire emoji again. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Hmm. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with beauty but sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come incredible fire is jealous Chloe it wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned. So if you look at Chloe's life, like that metaphor um 
that William just described, then William is the darkness, Max is the darkness, and Rachel is this fire. And there's kind of this warning to Chloe to be careful about it because she doesn't know what will happen and fire is all consuming. Fire is greedy, which I don't know that I've ever heard that. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. But it is interesting. I'm sorry, did Rachel set the forest on fire, Amber? So, are you going to invite me in? Or what? I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. I don't know that the original Life is Strange was this thematic. It may very well have been, and I just wasn't paying enough attention. Um, it happened. Because like I said before, I didn't play video games with a whole lot of attention, which I think um, is a real detriment to me. I should go back to that stuff like over again, I think. I think I will. Damn. Um, You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. Very, very thematic. A rainbow towel? Gay. A cool blue light? Gay. Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't Illuminati. hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <sighs> That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also going to need some money, <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the in- It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> Is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice I mean, at it. One definitely. <laughs> I'd be a way happier sentence. going to jail than having to live at home with. Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. I don't know that he would go to jail. Uh, oh, she's 16. Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. I don't think she would. Uh, you know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Well, she wouldn't Therapy. go to jail anyway. She, she you start. Died. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell too me. Blackwell? I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. 
I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Mm, where did this All right. therapist get her license? You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's, a uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! Gross. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck, bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just... You and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Did she just use finger guns? Oh my god.
Hello, Jump Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Outside. I should get going if I'm done changing. saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here.
Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! Oh, God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Fight the power. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? Hard to contain. We don't typically see fires like this on the Oregon coast this time of year. There haven't been any serious injuries yet, but that could change at any second. How about civilians and all this? Are we uh, going to have to prepare to evacuate in the next few days? I don't think it'll come to that. Well, the fire's spreading in an unusual way, sort of surrounding the northern part of Arcadia Bay, but not advancing toward it. What are you doing? Get my notebook. I don't honestly know. Right now we're doing everything. I'm listening. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hair. Well, there you have it, folks. Who knew? Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. Oh, got it. Oh, what is that line? You drop my fucking keys. Oh. Wait. Frank got a puppy. For real? Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Hey, that's Christmas. The mill burned down. Jeez, that's an expensive dog. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Ugh, gross. You spilled my beans! I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drugs. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. God damn, damn it. Part of a balanced breakfast. How would you know I'm doing that? Oh, hello, door. Puppy! So you little cute. killer. I love him so much. Oh, 
Oh, I love that dog. I love it. I love all dogs, fictional or other ones. I just, I love dogs. I don't know the people that you care. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. A throne fit for Frank. Because Frank finally gave up on the stake. Glad I paid that off. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Okay. Fine. Guess Rachel's dad is into bad girls. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. The problem is... Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No. I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? I, I don't know. It it doesn't feel right to go through his room. Does it feel right that he stole a grand from me? From you or from Damon? Same difference. Well, it's not my problem. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. 
good deal. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just telling you right now, I'm making the same decision that I made last time. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care if it's a video game or not. I'm not doing it. You know, and with that, I think that's a good place to stop because we're about halfway through the second episode and I'm kind of really exhausted. So, okay. Oh, okay. So, this is probably going up on Monday, which means the next game playthrough is going to be Night in the Woods, um, which will be my third playthrough. Of Night in the Woods. Um, if I have time, there's something I've been thinking about maybe putting up on Wednesday, but I don't know. It might um, have to wait until the Wednesday after because I'm, uh, you know, school and work. I don't know if I'll have time or not. I don't know if I want to put all my uh, ducks in one basket or whatever the fuck the saying is. Um, anyway, so, but definitely I'll have the. Night in the Woods up on Friday. Um, I just don't know about what they get. So, peace out. I'm going on by this house. Thanks for hanging out with me while I hang out with the gays. It's um, a good time. Okay?